All right, Patrick, thanks. This morning, we continue our series, Coffee with the Candidates, to help you get to know the candidates running for office in the upcoming elections on a personal level. And joining us this morning is Democratic candidate for the first congressional seat, David Cicilline. Thanks for being here Good this morning. morning. Great to be here. Uh, I, I think I've seen you somewhere before. <laughs> Once or twice. <laughs> you know, you, uh, of course, in your uh, in your term as mayor, have uh, done things like you've renamed the Providence the creative city or the, uh, you know, it's the capital city, but, of course, the creative capital. Why is it? that arts are so important to you? Well, you know, Providence has, for the last five years, been recognized as one of the top 25 art cities in America. It's an important part of our city's economy. Mm. It accounts for many jobs. It's an important part of the quality of life, from things like Trinity Rep to AS220 to the Steel Yard to uh, Black Rep to uh, the Philharmonic. I mean, it's a part of what distinguishes Providence from many other cities is this really rich arts and cultural opportunities that we have. So it's an important part of promoting our great capital city. Well, see, I've known all that about you, and I've known that you've been passionate about the arts. What I didn't know is that you tweet. Tweet every day. Do you really? Yes. What, what kinds of things do you tweet about? I tweet about, you know, uh, either something I've read in the paper, an event that I'm going to, an award that some organization has received. Yeah. You know, just during the course of my day, I tweet. I'm trying to get more followers. So okay. if you follow right, so me, that would go. be what, terrific. Well, what, is, what is your... Uh, David Cicilline. Okay. So it's easy to sign up. And have you found that you've been able to be in touch with, you know, constituents, voters, that sort yes. of thing? Yes. I mean, sometimes people have asked questions on my Twitter account. Um, I obviously use Facebook and uh, uh, to communicate as well. But, but tweeting is just a good way to kind of give people an idea of what I'm doing during the course of the day. Yeah. Uh, and for them to kind of follow what I'm, I'm doing. When you're not campaigning so hardcore, what, what are you doing during the day? I mean, when you, I, you have very, it seems to me you have very little off time. Yeah. But when you do have off time, what do you like to do? Uh, you know, I, I, I bike, I like to ride, uh, you know, run a mm -hmm. lot, exercise. Yeah, I can uh, see you, you're trying to think back to the times where you used to have free time. Yes, <laughs> exactly, a long time ago. Yes, being a public servant will do that. Uh, is there anything else that you would like voters to know about you? Well, I, I, you know, I think the thing that most voters would, should know about me is I, I work hard and that I, if I'm elected to Congress, I'll go down to Washington and work hard every single day on behalf of ordinary Rhode Islanders. So I think I've been really forgotten by Washington and everything that I've done, I've always done what I think is right. I've fought for what I think is right. And I think what we need in Washington is someone's going to go there and really fight for Rhode Island. These are hard times for families. I mean, it's a really challenging time in our state and in our country. And we need some real change, and we need someone who's going to really stand up and produce real results. And there's no easy fixes and no easy answers, but I've worked since I was 14, you know, as a busboy, you know, had millions of jobs, always worked hard. Um, and I think this is a time when we have to get back to those values of hard work, perseverance and produce some real results for our great state. Well, thank you so much for Thanks being for here me. this morning. We really appreciate it. And to learn more about David Cicilline's take on pol political issues, all you have to do is head to foxprovidence.com.